That's the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Second down at five. Brady now to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Brady to throw on third and one. This one complete to Scott Miller. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Defense was thinking run, and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Again, it's Brady. And he'll get that to Fournette complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. before the ball arrived and I've got to tell you you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach when you're going to get him sometimes you panic as well and think I've got to be there right now instead in this case timed it perfectly and knocked it free so now they'll come up on second and ten once again from the 28 Again, they'll throw with Brady. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range, so now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. Throwing is Brady on third down. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. Three straight incompletions. They don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage, and his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. 
You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is this horse? And oh, his first carry he loses the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. This is too easy. And he returns it to the end zone. A fumble recovery touchdown. Even the great ones, some of the best, they're not immune to the fumble, and here it really hurts them. If the ball gets away from any runner's body, that's when the defense pokes at it, swipes at it, swats at it, and finds a way to create a big play for themselves. Extra point up and good by Sucka, and we are tied here in the second quarter. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. On the return from his end zone, Malik Taylor. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong. Touchdown, Packers! Aaron Jones, 77 yards. And the Packers have taken the lead. They blitzed defensively there, but he was able to slip through that first layer, and then he was gone. I think they won the leverage game, didn't they? Yes. Right? They saw the blitz coming. That got to him a little bit, but they leveraged it perfectly and found not just a crease, a gigantic hole. And off he goes, and he's still going all the way to the end zone. Crosby connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Looking up into the lights, and he muffs it. And a little dangerous there, almost a penalty, but it does get into the end zone before going over the sideline for a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Dean Lowry. Just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options. And while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect, and he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. Shotgun now for Brady. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Brady. 
This one swung out here to Jones. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A really nice gain of 25 yards. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Brady to throw again. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Kevin King with a pick. And not much on the return there. He'll take it only up to the nine-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Two yards, good enough for a first. Now Jones. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did, and remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only... And the defense loses him. It's complete. Don't worry about it, baby. I ain't worried about it. Before. Touchdown, Packers! Robert Tunyon, an 80-yard touchdown, and the Packers add six to their lead. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Crosby with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Second and 16. Another try after the first down sack. Brady. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Kevin King with a pick. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. Partner, what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so 